Welcome all to the weekly outlook. Boone here from Elliott Wave Pro. Um, DXY, uh, like I said last week, um, on the daily, I'm looking at this. Uh, we're still in this Y wave, um, but I am looking at this as an A, B, C internal to finish off this X um, on the daily and then give us that Z down. So if we look on H4, Last week we were in here, um, we we're in here somewhere, and I was looking at on the H1 as this is a flat um, to go and break this low. Uh, it hasn't quite broken the low yet. Um, it hasn't quite broken the low. It doesn't have to if this is the the A, well the A B C to finish off this X on the daily, it doesn't have to break this low. It would be nice if it does. So then we know that uh, we will get that Z down if this low does get broken. We still haven't broken this trend line here. Um, so hopefully we do get a little bit more downside to break this low, um, then we'll get that sharp move up. So, Monday or Tuesday, we may start to see some dollar strength, okay, for this C up. Um, so basically, if you, I don't think you can trade this this uh, pair, but um, yeah, you really need a uh, trend line break on the H four before you look look for those those buys. Are you? I'm still looking for this. Oh, last week I was looking for this as a flat in here. We got a higher high here. Um, I'm still looking at this as a B wave. I'll move that. Still looking at that as a B wave. So look for that C down. Um, eventually we will get that C down. Once this DXY is finished um, and we start to get that dollar strength. Uh, US dollar strength will will get this C down. So look for the um, weakness in the AU basically. Um, just look for those cells on the H1. May have a little flag here. Um, well, it's more of a correction, but um, you can draw this little trend line here. Wait for the break, little flag in here, and then look for that cell. EU, pretty much the same. I'm looking at this as a B wave, because um, it's so choppy. So we're in this B wave here. I, a, B, looking for that C down. Um, look for the C down. Your first target is here for a running flat. Um, so running flat, and then we'll get that Z up on the H4, the larger Z up. But I definitely wouldn't be trying to buy this. Um, you can see here we got high a higher high here, and we got bearish divergence here. So. If you're scalping the buys, it's very dangerous. I'm, I'm waiting for that sell. Um, the large impulse is gonna be that sell. GU, GU's really messy. It's been messy for a long time. Um, I still think this is like an A, B, and we'll get that C down. So I'm only interested in the cells. Um, it's not really, if this was the end of the B wave, this should have gone here. Um, instead, it's giving us a, a lot of chop in here. Now this can be an A, an A, B, C, or an A, B, C in here, running or expanding flat, and then we, we get the A, B, C down to finish off this C wave. But I'm only looking for the cells. Um, too risky to be 
buying this. We do have bearish hidden divergence here. Um, this top here hadn't been broken. We do have that bear hidden divergence. Buying is going to be risky. Uh, and you, again, like the other crosses, I'm looking for that C down. Eventually we're gonna get that C down. Now, this one has broken the top. Again, we've got that bearish divergence. You don't wanna be looking for the buys. Wait for your sell set up and sell. Uh, UY. UY. Again, this is still my target here, my first and second targets on the trade view idea. It still hasn't been hit. Um, this this here can be a flat. So we get an A, B, C down, get to the first target. And if you're lucky enough, you'll get to the second target. You definitely want to be taken half off at the break of this low because we will have that bullish divergence. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, so you can look for the cell. I don't think there's a cell set up on it just at the moment. Yeah, it's more of a, if you look at this A, B, C, you really need a little flag in here. Um, if you get a little flag on the H1, look for that cell. If we, see, we don't have any bullish divergence, so that's why I'm sort of looking at this as a flat for A, B, C, and then we get another one down. Uh, you, Sheffy. I was looking for this C up. Been looking for this C up for a long time. Um, instead, it's giving us, it's not giving us a C up, it's giving us a larger correction in here. But we can see that all this, it's so choppy. Um, this, so this is the A, all this, this B might start B over here, and then we get that C up. Eventually, once this DXY is finished, we'll get that C up, okay? So don't, we've got all this bullish divergence. You don't want to be selling around down here. You're only looking for that buy. UCAD, again, pretty much the same as the U Sheffy. Um, I was looking for that C up. It never went. Um, it hasn't gone yet. Um, this one might be starting to give a bull flag in here on the H1. Um, you really have to be careful. Wait for the break and keep tight stops. Um, so this one here, you can look for that buy. Last week, there was a buy on it as well. Um, where was it? We got this, we were over here last week. Um, we got this high high. I said, wait for this correction. We got the correction and then look for the buy. The, the top did get broken, but then it just fell straight back over. So if you got into that, um, you it probably wouldn't have went to your 100 fib target. Um, so hopefully if you took it took it down here on the last time frame, got in down here somewhere, um, you at least got a break even when this started to fall over. So again, you can look for this buy here. Um, but yeah, just keep a tight stop loss on. Um, gold, like I've been saying for a long time, we're at a high, we're at a high. It's looking bullish. It's still looking bullish. But we've got an ABC in here and we're, this top more than likely will get broken. Um, we've got a little cross here now. So we will start to get that divergence on the H4. Um, we already had the divergence over here uh, from this top to this top. 
So very risky to be buying up here. Um, I'm only looking for the sell. So ideally, um, move the trend line across. So ideally, we get, we get another high high here, breaks that high, comes down, gives us a bare flag in here, trend line break and bare flag, and then look for that sell. Um, like I've been saying, we're in B waves, and this is where people lose their money in the B waves. Um, we, it's very choppy. Uh, silver, again, this here is a flat. Um, we've got a little flat in here. So this one will go and break this top. Um, I've been said last week that um, probably go up and break this top over here um, to the 100 fair bore and, and even get to the 123.6. It may even get up to the, on the daily, it may even get up to the 161.8 because um, we are in a wave Y. Um, very risky to start buying because we do have that, we, we're getting an ABC up now on H4. So we've got an A, B, C, got bearish divergence. Um, this more than likely will go and definitely break that top. If you want to take it for a scalp, you can. Um, just be careful because we do have that bearish divergence. I'm more interested in the, in the trend line break, little correction or flag, and then sell. Um, WTI. WTI, we got that ABC in here, and it's gone and broken that top. It's gone and broken this top. So we got the ABC. Price has gone and broken that top. It's still in this wave. So you can look for the buys on the H1. Probably getting a little, yeah, we're getting a little bull flag here or a correction. If you get a break, little flag, um, you can take that. Um, so, you might get a nice uh, WTI trade this week. Bitcoin, uh, last week, we were in here somewhere in here. Uh, and I was looking for this sell. Actually, last week I said we it is possible that we get a W at, or an ending diagonal, uh, a one two, three, four, and then a five to finish off this B wave. So I thought that we may get some sort of an ending diagonal in here. Um, and another one up here to finish off that B wave. But I'm only interested in the cells. Um, I'm still looking for this C down. On H1, we might be getting another cell here. So you can look for this cell. Um, we have broken the trend line in here. It's not more really a trend line. It's more of a uh, a, a correction. But we do have bearish hidden divergence in here. So at least this bottom should be broken. Um, so look for the cells. Um, if we go on to M15. Then I'll just yeah. See, we have bearish divergence in here, so we've got a uh, W X Y X Z uh, Z. Sorry, and um, look for that cell in here. It looks like a little flat in here. And then fifteen A B C. Put a sell stop there and have your stop loss just above this high here. And yeah, look for that trade. Look for the sells. Uh, I did put out a trading view idea on ENZ. 
If we have a look at over here on the ANZ, this is the only one that went for me last week. Um, I got in down here somewhere. I'm looking for these targets to be hit. Um, I still think there is a little bit more upside in this. So we get an A, B, C, um, and then more upside for an A, larger A, B, C. Um, so I'm looking for that first and second target to be hit on this. So if we go to N, ENZ, uh, on the H4. So this is looking really nice because we've got a nice impulse up, A, B, C down in the B wave, and we've got a nice impulse up. So if you get the buy set up, or even if you put a, uh, a buy stop just above this top, um, probably won't give you the risk reward. You're probably better off to go on to the lower time frames and because uh, at at this stage it's it's, it's looking bearish. Um, but let it come down here. I wouldn't be looking for the cells. Um, I'll wait for the A, B, C, and then I'll look for that buy. Um, I did add on this one um, last week. I brought this in here on Friday, I think it was, and got this move up. Got a few pips out of it. Um, then I started to get out because I seen this here, this this candle here. So I got out with a few, few pips on it. Um, I'm looking to add, so I'll get an A, B, C, and I'll look to add. I'll go down onto the M15 and look for that buy set up to add. Uh, my first entry was right down here on this little flag here. Uh, another one, I put out another idea on uh, S&P 500. Now I'm still looking for this, now the invalidation point got hit on this one, but I am still looking at this as a B wave. So the B's over here. Um, so still look for that cell, look for that C down. So if we go over to the chart, uh, go over to the H4. So I'm still looking for this, remove that. So I'm still looking at this as a B wave. So look for this C down. Yeah, that was probably changed on a, the 100 fib will change depending on how high this one goes. Now this one has broken the top. Um, we will get this C down. So look for the look for the cell on the H1. We may even be getting a little cell set up here. It's more of a correction. Um, it's more of a correction. Uh, might draw the trend line. It's more of a correction this than a flag, and it wasn't really a nice impulse down. So it's more of an A, A, B, C. So it's going to be quite choppy. It's not over yet. Um, more than likely, we'll get another high high. If we get another high high, wait for the trend line break, little flag in here, and look for that cell. Um, we should get we should get a nice cell on this one. So um, yeah, there's like I said, it's pretty choppy. Uh, market's really choppy, and like I said, we're in a B wave. We're in B waves. We're in these B this H four B wave. So it's very choppy. Um, and like I've been saying, this is where people lose their money. They lose their money in these B waves because it's choppy. You know, so um, be careful in here. Look for the C down. Look for the, the larger impulse down. If you get the setups in that direction of the C, um, trade in that direction. Keep tight stop losses. and. Um, be patient.
and we will get these we'll get these big moves okay i hope you enjoyed this uh analysis um enjoy your week keep safe out there and enjoy bye